No, he had a great bounce back game for us. You know, he looked much more comfortable out there. Um, in that pick and roll, he was coming off, he was fine with Mitch. You know, they're getting some synergy between, you know, one another. Um, I, I really liked the way he played. I was very happy for him, and, and I saw a big jump in the last game of this game. You know, we just want everyone to share the game. You know, that's how we want to play. Uh, it's not fun to be out with someone who dribbles the ball and shoots it every time. You know? So we want to move the ball side to side. We've been trying to put that in their heads for the last week, and, and we're trying to get not just him, but everyone to play that way. Coach, what is it like? Uh, can you talk about the game of RJ, Kevin, and you guys working together on the court? What do you like about their production? No, I, I, I think they're all learning. You know, we just asked them to get better. That's kind of been our mantra, get better every day, especially for RJ, RJ and Iggy. You know, they're trying to figure out the pace, the speed of the game. Um, you know, Iggy had a huge game last game. T today he struggled a little bit, but that's that's going to happen. You know, these kids are 18, 19 years old, and we're asking them to, to do, you know, amazing things right away. But I was, again, very pleased with, with RJ's game and the, the progress that he made. Jeff, did, you, did you go specifically with RJ through some of you know what he, we have him right now he's you know he's playing off he's like off guard right now he's playing a little small forward you know we like the ball in his hands as well we're just trying to get him comfortable we're trying to get him a bunch of different looks for the coaching staff on how he's going to help and impact our team this year um, he's been great with the ball he's been pretty darn good off the ball but it's just kind of this is all development for him right now. We're just trying to give him as much uh, freedom as we can. Is there any message you sent to RJ before the game that the game? No, not, not, not really. I, I think everyone's incredibly supportive of him. We've all seen what, what he can do, and he's just going to have to figure it out. And, and he did. You know, I was really happy from the, like, again, the jump from game two to game three. Um, you're starting to see him just fig figure the whole thing out. The speed, like I said, the pace, how to, how to get separation in the pick and roll. Um, he shot the ball a little bit better, so that was that was nice for him. But no, I mean, I have, he's a very mature 19-year-old kid. We're not worried about him at all. Coach, what did you see from him in regards to his rebounding? He was solid on that under the floor tonight as well. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a big, strong kid for, for being 19. You know, I, I think he can really be effective in defensive rebounding and rebounding and then pushing. We really like that out of him. We like that out of Kevin Knox as well. Um, Iggy can do that, but that's one thing that, you know, RJ's pretty darn big and strong for being 19 year old. He's, he's physically more developed than, than most and that's going to be a big strength of his game. I don't think so. He, he's really shot the ball really well this this summer especially in practice in the games uh, maybe a little more activity I'm always pushing him to rebound the ball more get in there and be more physical on the defensive class because he's another guy that can get it and push it for us but he's gonna be fine um, again we're, we're just trying to give these guys a, a chance and a platform to, to get better